Today I'm here to tell you a story, a story about a little film called Bleeding Art. It cost about £250 to make and it was just screened at an international film festival in Park City, Utah. Everyone at the screening got one of these. If this looks like something you might like to get your hands on, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll let you know how. Bleeding Art is a three episode uh, short film story thing written and directed by Pardeep Sahota. I met Pardeep at a stag do uh, for my friend Mike and I was talking to him and saying, that I really want to collaborate with filmmakers and I really want to collaborate with people that can bring something fresh to the video content that I was putting out. Paddy, why don't you return my calls, man? Because you call me at fucking four in the morning every day. No, no but like... Other than that. Pardeep had an existing idea which was about a children's TV presenter and he was having a mental breakdown whilst trying to teach kids how to make art um, so he rewrote it for me. It's by far the most viewed thing on my YouTube channel and I had a lot of fun making it. When you hit middle age, if you work really, 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 <laughs> Keep going. So I get a call from Pardeep and he's like, hey man, we got into this film festival called Slam Dance. And I was like, okay. He was like, no, 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 this is, this is a big deal. Like, you need to be excited about this. This is a really good festival. This is one of the ones that I really wanted to get into. And we got in and I think we should go. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll go to, to where? To Utah? Okay. So I started to get pretty excited about going to the film festival. And we were talking about things that we would use to promote ourselves while we were out there and how could we like entice people to come to our screening. Being that I'm an artist, we decided that it would be really cool if we could give everybody like a little gift of an original piece of art. I managed to get a few strips of really lovely paper from Hippo Screen Prints. Shout out Hippo. And I cut them into little postcard sized pieces of paper and then I was drawing directly onto them and I was just trying to get one after another after another done quite soon there was like this little pattern that was forming and it was like a head with the shoulders and then loads of patterns and, and and loose line work and i started to have quite a lot of fun i was using markers that i hadn't used before and the paper was really soft so it was kind of soaking in the ink and and you know if you're using a biro pen like when you're pushing down it was kind of it was it was a nice surface to draw on going to my other job coming home drawing eating dinner going back, drawing, staying up till like midnight or 1am, just drawing every day. I was drawing in the airport, I was drawing when we were in Utah, by the time we got there I was still drawing, I was drawing in cafes, I was drawing while we were getting drinks. I was pretty much drawing all the way up until the screening. Sundance and Slamdance are happening on the main street in Park City, so the whole of Park City's main street completely gets taken over with film industry. We managed to get into a party on the second night, you were on a balcony overlooking the Egyptian theatre. It was like the iconic Sundance theatre as a backdrop to us just hanging out and meeting people and then it started snowing and it was really cool. I didn't have my camera with me. I thought that was you chatting to someone over there, Dave. Is the person bald? Yeah. Really handsome. Absolutely. I can see why you got that. So let's talk a little bit about poster walls. Up and down Main Street you've got these different spots where you've got these big poster stands made of wood where you're able to staple your posters and brought like 500 or something so we were just going really heavy on them trying to get the name of the film everywhere we could and also we just had to spend these posters we had already paid for them so it was just about getting the name out there we were trying to be respectful of the slam dance posters and, and just put things over the hbo posters because hbo have street teams they just go there every hour and just cover it in hbo stuff so we were not worried too much about covering up hbo stuff um hbo's got enough money so I kind of miss that ritual actually of, of being on our way somewhere and putting up loads of posters to promote our film it was fun I really enjoyed that part of it I guess we should talk about the screening because that is why we were there the day of the screening arrived I was starting to feel really run down like a mixture of altitude sickness too much alcohol sleep deprivation too much alcohol junk food my body was starting to feel like this close to getting really properly ill. I wasn't looking forward to the screening. I had this kind of mixture of anxiety and excitement. So for the beginning of the day I was feeling crappy and I was excited and anxious. It wasn't 
good. Uh, it was really interesting to sit in the room with loads of people seeing what we made for the first time. It went really well, we got a massive round of applause and everyone really really enjoyed the film. The Q&A went really well, we got asked a lot of questions that were about me being an artist and how close was Bleeding Art to reality, whether or not I had actually lost Casper and all this sort of stuff. They wanted to know how me and Pradeep had met and how this whole project came about and how we managed to make it for such a little amount of money. The drawings went down really well, everyone was excited about getting an original piece of art. I had loads of people coming up to me afterwards and saying thank you for the gift. This film came about because of collaboration and I put it to you. Reach out to people around you and see what you can create. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Slam Dance. Thank you so much for having us in your festival. We really appreciate it. We had an absolute blast. Everything that you're doing is amazing. Thank you to Pardeep Sahota for writing and directing Bleeding Art and for taking a chance on me and what I was doing for his idea. Thank you very much to Michael O'Sullivan who did the posters and the business cards and he came with us to Utah and he did the motion graphics in Bleeding Art. Thank you to Ed who did the sound design. Thank you to everybody else that was involved in Bleeding Art. Thank you very much for watching and just before I go, everyone, thank you for reminding me. I've got 10 of these to give away. The first 10 people to comment can grab one of those and then I'll stick some more on my website, uh, www.danielcrossan.com. Thank you very much for watching. Love you guys. Bye bye bye. bye.